What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video we have just a little announcement and that is that the stairs and railing in Revit course is finally available on BalkanArctic.com website. That's going to be the first link in the description. So you can get it as part of the subscription and if you're already a member at the website you already have access. Uh, to that course or uh, if you want to just purchase the uh, uh, course you can purchase it and then you get a lifetime access to that uh, course. Now the course is stairs in railing in Revit and the reason I decided to group these two together is because they are one of the most complex uh, system families in Revit, the two of most complex system families in Revit. They include the uh, kind of the system family part but they also include some component families that are kind of nested in that system family. So they are quite complex uh, and I decided to kind of create a whole course and it turned out to be a whole five hour course on that topic uh, just because it's so there's so much to, to, to explore and to talk about this uh, these two families. Uh, now for uh, for the approach I did it kind of similar to how I do all of my other courses and that is uh, we do a little bit of theory a bit of uh, kind of exploring uh, these families and then also we have some projects to test what we have learned and just to show you the whole workflow and how, how to kind of use everything that you've learned in real life. Uh, now it's divided into five chapters. The first chapter is or the first three chapters are dedicated to stairs and then the second two are dedicated to uh, railing. Now the first chapter is just how can you use railing in uh, Revit, uh, what's the proper way of uh, using railing and what's the proper way of kind of placing railing or, or manipulating it inside of the project in order to make it look exactly how you want it to look. Uh, now after that the second uh, topic is, or the second chapter is exploring uh, the uh, stair types, all of the different stair types in Revit and just talking about all of the different settings that are available and what does each of those settings uh, do. And then finally in the third chapter uh, we put everything that we have learned to the test and I show you the workflow on seven different st uh, stair uh, projects. So uh, the first project is just a simple concrete stair but they show you a little bit of tips and tricks how to uh, kind of add the finish for the stair, things like that. Uh, after that we, we move over to something that's similar to concrete stairs and that's stair nosing. So you know those little nosing strips on top of stairs? Uh, they're either used, uh, made out of some rubber or something like that to increase grip so you don't slip or they're used to mark kind of the edge of the stair and they can be maybe uh, maybe brightly colored or something like that. Uh, now that's really difficult to achieve in Revit and I show you how to construct a family that does that for you. So it's a really cool option and that's what I show you uh, in that second uh, stair project. Uh, now in the next project we're moving over to a residential stair that has a middle support so just a basic residential stair but I show you all the settings for that and then moving over uh, we have something that's really cool and that's a complete modern uh, stair that's kind of weird it's part of the interior design it's uh, it does the job of a stair but it's a lot more and it's it is really complex so I show you the whole workflow on, of creating the fam a family like that and how can you achieve that in Revit it does take uh, take a while and it does take some in place modeling things like that but you can pretty much get any type of stair that you might uh, want in Revit. Then we move over to maybe a more classical stair where I show you how to make a nice classical stair with a different first step just to increase the classiness of that classical stair. So uh, I show you that and then uh, I show you how to create an industrial stair as well and also uh, how to create a kind of a floating stair uh, too. Okay, so uh, once we're done with all of that pro with all of those stair projects, we were moving over to railing and for uh, for railing we have a first chapter, so that's the fourth chapter or uh, for railing that's the first chapter and there I show you both how to use railing in projects and all the little settings that we have for uh, railing in a rabbit. So there are a lot of settings so we explore all of those in this chapter and then 
for the second chapter, I show you how to create railing on some real life projects. We have five projects for railing. The first one is, uh, well, uh, you're not actually using railing to create this, but we are getting a railing in return. And that's how to use uh, the supports in stairs as railing because it does, uh, it does give certain functionality that railing doesn't. And I, I just uh, wanted to explore that topic a little bit first. And then we're moving over to uh, wall-based handrails. So when you just have a wall, but you would like to add a handrail where you can kind of grab uh, or hold on, I show you how to achieve that in Revit using railing. Uh, also, we're, uh, uh, sh I'm showing you how to use railing in order to create a fence family. Also, I show you how to create a more classical rail for our classical staircase from one of the previous chapters. And then also I show you how to create glass railings and not actually how to create glass railings, but multiple approaches to creating glass railings in Revit because it's such a complex task and different people have found different solution to this. So I explore uh, all of those. So that's what this uh, course is all about. Again, it's five uh, chapters. Uh, and I completely tackled the topic of stairs. It's five hours long, and if you're interested, check it out. It's available on my website, balkanarchitect.com. It's going to be the first link in the description. Also, if you're a Patreon, uh, you already have access uh, to that, so also it can be found on my Patreon, and that's going to be the second link in the description. Okay, so that was just kind of a introduction and overview for this particular course. So if you're interested, make sure to sign up. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, overview and I'll be back with another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.